Yeah, welcome back. So, let us move on uh, to some interesting concept in uh, marketing which is segmentation. The job of any marketing function or marketing department in small business we do not have separate marketing departments, but I will say marketing function is to create strong brands. Now, some of you might be laughing that how do I create brand with no or small budget? We will discuss this in the next session that what is a brand and how do I create a strong brand. Brands can be created not only with advertisement and promotion and lot expenditure, but there are other ways of creating brands. There are many companies who have created brands uh, without you know much advertisement. Honda normally does not advertise, Honda has never advertised its cars in India but somehow they have very strong brand associated. Only recently they have and that too very small advertisement budget, very small promotional budget, but they have such a powerful brand and so many values are associated with the brand that people go, just rush in to buy a Honda car. Honda does not advertise much. Sir, even though weak magazine Honda city car Yeah, but it is only recent they have started advertising actually. Last 10 years they never advertised. So, one of the very powerful concept in marketing is uh, segmentation. The whole concept is known as STP, segmentation, targeting and positioning. This is the process normally, uh, when I say brand, brand means product or brand means the name of your product, simply speaking. Brand is when you associate, when you uh, associate a product with a source, known source, it is a brand, basic level branding. So, it is not Lux is a brand only, but there, your product is also a brand. If your customer associate it with a you, that becomes a brand at very basic level. Now, your task is to build that brand, build the brand equity with whatever means you have, the positive brand equity. Now, first step here is understanding customer and understanding the segments of customer who uh, present and potential. So, first step is uh, segmentation and targeting. Then comes differentiation and positioning and then finally managing the brand equity. Segmentation is the act of dividing your market into small segments, small groups of customers who has homogeneous needs. At extreme level, every customer is a unique and every customer has different needs. At highest level, all everybody needs a similar product. Segmentation is somewhere in between. It is identifying a group of customers who have similar needs with some variation. So, a process of segmentation target positioning is identify segmentation variable and segment the market, develop profiles of resulting segments, evaluate the attractiveness of each segment, select the target segment, then position your product towards segment. So, first step here is uh, how do you identify the segments? What is the variable with which you segment the market? So, act of dividing uh, a segment into distinct groups. Why do you do segmentation targeting positioning? Just to focus your efforts in the market. You cannot sell to everybody and you do not want to sell to one. So, you want to sell somewhere in between. It helps us in identifying new opportunities. When you segment a market, you can identify opportunities of products or services 
to different segments. You can make your brand, your products more competitive. When you focus your efforts to one segment, your products, your efforts are more competitive. It improves the efficiency and effectiveness of your marketing efforts <clears throat> because you are targeting, you are focusing on only a handful of customers or a group. So rather than thinking of a big market, just think of a small segment in the market and focus your efforts. Framework, there is a big market, you have to select a smaller chunk of the market that is target market. Identify the different segments in the market and then select again a smaller segment that is target segment. It is a very interesting process. We will see how uh, market is the category you see yourself operating in. Target market is a small chunk of the market in which you actively target. Segment again small seg small uh, parts of the market, the target market which are relevant to you and out of all these small chunks you choose one segment and then you define a customer. You can go other way around also. Let us take an example you know, how to do that. Just think this is a market. First you have to define your market, what market you are operating in. That is a challenge actually. If I ask you uh, what market Coca-Cola is operating in or say what market you are operating in, how do you define your market? Sir, women who want to get rid of the unwanted hair. Who want to get rid of unwanted, unwanted hair. hair. Okay. What, are there any segments in the market? Are you aware of? Yeah, there are. Going it is the only women or it is the men also who can get it. That is what we are targeting because that need for men is, it is not that. No, no. You are targeting or not? I am talking of the market for your products. Uh, for this product specifically, we are looking at a women. I am not talking of you are looking okay. for. Yes, men also can be uh, market for this product. Okay. Yeah. Overall market I am talking of, right? Right. Similarly, I am saying Coca-Cola, what market they are in? It is anybody who drinks. Anybody who drinks. Drinks. Uh, any so, mammal or any human being who drinks. Anybody. So this is a bigger definition of a market you can give actually. But like he says, his target market is presently women, right? Yeah, that's this chunk, yeah. so he is ignoring the other markets. Similarly, Coca-Cola probably is focused on carbonated drink market to human beings, not to other animals, not lassies but a carbonated drink market. So this is the target market. Sometimes it seems very easy but it is a very interesting process. It sometimes becomes a very difficult process to identify. Now within this small target market, the job is to identify the different segments. What are the different segments you can identify? It's college going girls, okay. uh, working women, uh, women who are post 45, uh, very senior citizen women like 70 plus. These are categorically, uh, okay. majority these are. Good. So he is basically okay. doing what? He is segmenting the women market on a variable known as age, right? That's right. So age is his, he thinks that age is a important segmentation variable that he should segment on. Can there be another, any other variable uh, which you can segment the market? Yeah, their capacity to make decisions, whether they can purchase on their own. Working women, uh, college going girls, they are more likely to uh, make that call, but lower income group may not be able to do it. So, so here he is, he is segmenting on the basis of income and profession. Good. What else? Can there be any other criteria of segmentation? Can there be need based segmentation? Yeah, there is. If somebody is suffering from the specific cases where the uh, growth tends to increase because of hormones or specific uh, condition, uh, those are uh, typical and that can be across the age groups. That can be. So now he is not talking of age, he is not talking of income, he is just talking of a need. Sir, 
in case of pharma pharmaceutical industries, if uh, if uh, area having a large number of diabetic patients. In area having a large number of diabetic uh, diabetic patients under such condition, an entrepreneur he want to launch an insulin product. Even though those, uh, if the area is having a large number of uh, college students, like in the age of 18 to 20, 24, automatically some of the sports where companies they are launching to what we are called as a genealogy. <laughs> Even the division uh, segmenting of uh, peoples. So on that uh, case, sir, in the, especially in case of pharmaceutical companies, even though they are focusing on the age groups, sugar patients, so you uh, like you like them. Yeah, see, just yeah. hold that. So he is now focusing on need, right? Yes, sir. So that is medical. Yeah. So can there be another any other need for women to? Use that product. These are the majority ones that what I can. Majority ones. So now, can you segment? So he is basically slicing down the target market women into various segments. And need probably here he has two. One is medical problem, and another can be probably I don't know some cosmetic. So he might think of choosing one market, say medical green. That is how you iteratively select your target market. Markets are made up of people, not products. Many of times we think of a market as a product market. But he rightly said actually the market is of customers and people. What is the market for Maruti 800? This is the wrong way of saying. Wrong. It, it, you can say that, but right way of saying is who, need, who drives Maruti 800 car? So right way of approaching segmentation is just try to identify the need based segmentation. So you can define a big market, the target market and a segments between the target market and then you decide to choose a segment. One person talked of uh, security equipments, now how, who, who, who discuss with me? Yeah. Now how do you define the market for that? It's almost everybody. <laughs> In, just paraphrase that who is a who needs security? Uh, yes. That is the biggest. Then how do you who is the target market? Uh, well, it could be based on uh, the need of uh, securing their valuables inside the house, or the other could be uh, if they have dependents in the house, they take securing their dependents. Right. So, so that way. now you are targeting only one segment, that is household segment. There can be banks also. Correct. There can be ATMs also and there can be host of other institutions who may need. But you did not say that. Correct. So this analysis will help you in identifying how do I define my market. He straight away came to the households. But you should come to the households by iterative process. So that you should know that why I am, what I am targeting, what not. So what not becomes probably your market for the future. So you focus on a particular segment. For example, he says, I want to focus on households. Again, you know, households, can you further categorize households? Area wise. Okay. Geography? Yeah. Okay. Uh, city wise? Yeah. City okay, say Bombay. What, how do you classify further? The type of house, maybe bungalow and a flat would have a different requirement. Bungalow and a flat. Household income. Again, I will say, this is okay, but again further think what is the need? Can you define on the basis of need category? Probably uh, ones who have bungalows have a greater need because uh, there is no kind of a, if you live in apartment complex, you have a social kind of a security uh, which so, is built into the system. So now, now you are going to focusing, you, it makes your mind clear, probably the first choice will be the people with the bungalow, right? Yeah. I am not saying it, they might be profitable to you also. I'm just saying, you know, how the things are clearer. Uh, it's a very good uh, uh, example for the Eureka Forbes kind of demonstration. In his product, he's trying to give a security. That's a latent need. It's not in a perceived. It's not in the top layer. When he goes, how can he demonstrate that? How can he get the latent need out uh, for the person to actually come back into the same? He has to study his customers and their purchase behavior. 
it is not that he will go and they will allow him to enter his bungalow and demonstrate. It might be his distant dream actually. So he has to see how to approach them and he has to innovate. The first step is a very difficult, it is not easy, you know. You have to study how he does, right. I am just saving, I do not know, I am just conjecturing. They might have hired some security agency. So, he, if he goes to security agency and try to push products through them, that is easier. He has to find ways. That is strategic marketing that becomes. Whatever you say. I am just saying, he may not be allowed to enter actually. His sales person will not be allowed to enter the bungalow. It is very difficult. Is right? So, you have to see how they purchase, who influences that purchase. That is, you have to study the purchase process, purchase behavior. Who influences that purchase? Probably the security guard standing outside. If he belongs to some group 5, security 4, he has to find out. So, there is no fixed way. You have to just say influencer, study the purchase process, purchase behavior. Simply uh, trying for entering the bungalow and demonstrating may not help. For example, you are selling a B2B product. Now, you have to see who is powerful? Is the architect powerful, consultant powerful or user powerful? In some organization, the user is very powerful. In some organization, I have worked extensively with textile industry, you know. So, when textile industry was designed, I have seen in some industries, the, tech, the architect was powerful who designed the premises. In some industry, the consultant, electrical consultant was powerful who designed the electricals in that area. And in some industries, uh, in some companies, the user was very powerful. So, we have to find out who is the major influencing force and then that is the easier way to enter. The way you define your market also define the business you will enter. For example, he starts with the households. He becomes a consumer product supplier. If he starts targeting industries and banks, he is in a different business domain. His market, target market segment will change. Your scope of business will change the way you define your market. It is very important to do. If Coca-Cola defines the market as beverage market, then he, th he will feel that I have 0.1 percent market share in India. Now, they say we have 51 percent market share and they will think of host of new products rather than focusing on colas. But they have defined their market as probably a cola beverage market whatever and not a beverage market. Now, start with beverage market, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, then non-alcoholic, then you have categories milk based, water based, others, then water based, then you have, you can categorize so many ways and then you can filter down. See, uh, uh, in businesses something like Google, okay, so the users are uh, those who use the internet, okay, and uh, uh, the revenue comes from the ads, okay, uh, the people who put ads on Google, okay. So now in this case, uh, what is the market for, you know, someone who is entering into similar kind of business? Similar means, can you just elaborate, like, you want to compete with Google? Uh, no, not compete, uh, not exactly compete with Google, okay. Suppose I start a forum on some some uh, technology or some topic, okay. So, uh, my business model will be the same, like the users will be the people involved in that particular discussion, okay. And uh, I'll be generating revenue from uh, people uh, who are giving ads, okay. Uh, let's say uh, there is a site on some uh, medical um, technology. Okay, so in that case, uh, you know, the people participating in that uh, will be doctors. Okay, so, uh, but I am getting my revenue from pharmaceutical companies who will be putting their ads on the web site. Right. Okay, <coughs> so now uh, in this case, uh, what is my target market? Means where should I target on? See, uh, this concept is nothing new, you know. All newspaper publishing industry works on this concept. You know what is the cost of production of a newspaper? Users do not pay for you, it is the advertiser who pay for it. So, this Google concept is nothing new, only the enabling medium has changed, it is the internet, otherwise it is the paper, nothing new. Now, how the new magazine is launched, just see, 
and how it is fo focused, how it is targeted. Process is same. Any business magazine, business world, business week, what is the cost? 20 rupees. Do you think the printing cost is 20 rupees? It is much more than that. I met one of the marketing manager, he told me, we do not want to sell more, we lose on every copy. But it is the NRS survey we have to participate. So, we have to look as if we are being more, you know, people are more and more people are reading, you know. Otherwise, they lose on it. So, same thing. This concept is nothing new actually. The thing is, you know, what determines? I will tell you. Having said this, you have to choose a segment which probably drives the 80 percent of your revenues. For example, you are targeting for some, some you have some objective, some revenue objective, if you understand, some revenue objective. See, it is not possible that you do not have any objective. It is possible, but you should have some objective for the sake of having objective. Then see what segment can give you that optimistically and then you target that. For example, you probably think that education is a very, uh, you know, uh, is an industry which has a lot of money and people ready to give. You might think of students as a customer and probably focus your effort in that domain. Just, I do not know, you have to see. You have to analyze in targeting, like I said, you know, you have to evaluate the attractiveness of each segment. This third point. Uh, so, it, it is like uh, suppose I am uh, focusing such kind of business model. So, my focus should be for uh, both means uh, when, whenever I am thinking of doing something, uh, there should be value addition on both the side, the users and the perspective. Uh, yeah, uh, persons will pay for right, right. right. Absolutely. Okay, so Absolutely. Uh, valuation should be for both. Whenever I am thinking of something, uh, yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes. Yeah, I happened to meet a Google salesperson. He, I was in an educational institute, and he came. He tried to sell uh, his space. He said, "Why don't you ad ad uh, advertise your education institute?" We said, "How?" He said, "Whenever they will write MBA keyword." your advertisement will appear. So, both. So, they were, they, their sales people mostly attract the potential advertisers. So, now again education is in one segment. They can be doctors, pharma and so many other professional segments. Now, educational, they focus on, Google is presently focusing on this area actually because who are the, who clicks most? is that segment they have identified that students in the age group of x to y are the most of the forms a chunk of their customers actually. So, that they have done research knowingly unknowingly or through web they also they can research they can data mine that uh, data and then uh, focus on that. So, you have to evaluate the attractiveness of each segment and then focus on a segment. Now, Having said this, how do I evaluate the attractiveness of each segment? There is some, uh, some experience, some factual data collection, some research. You know, again there is a contradiction, you say there are so many operational issues, how do I do research? That you have to make a choice actually. If 5 rupees of investment in a research, if you think it can give you high dividends, why not research? That you have to make, you see, uh, rather than losing yourself in operational issues, a 5 rupees of strategic thinking give you a longer, long term dividends, why not? This is as simple as that. Then select a target and then do. Because the way you define your target market defines your competitive environment. People who want protection from mosquitoes in their home. Just an example. So, if I say my market is this, I will manufacture what? Mosquito repellents in all formats. Right? If I define my market differently, people who want protection from household pests, I will be manufacturing products for mosquitoes, rats, cockroaches. So, how do I define my market 
defines what I make. You can go other way around also. What you make, see, you can serve which market profitably. People who want pest control, then I will ta I will manufacture products, services, serving home, offices, and other areas. My market and target market will vary as per my thought thinking of my market. I want to serve, or I should serve. You cannot serve total market. You can serve only chunk of market. Start with a small segment of market. Then you will see, you will focus your effort on. Let us take an example. Again from a large scale organized industry only, but it makes our thinking much clearer actually. JK Tires, what is the market it serves? People who own, operate vehicles. That is how you define. Target market is greater than or equal to four wheelers. They don't manufacture two wheeler tires. They are very clear. DHL. So this is the data from an ad agency actually. Some market research. So this is reliable data. This is not hunch. People who want to send packages is the market. But in this market comes the postcards also. They are not. People who want to send express packages around the world. So they are very focused. This is one chunk of the total market. In this market, people who want to send packages come here, Indian Postal Services also, and it goes from a postcard to anything else. Parcels also, big parcels, but they are focused on a small target market. Dabur, what is Dabur's market? Dabur Chavan Prash? No, uh, Chavan Prash is a preventive healthcare medicine basically. So, you can start with the health market. You can focus, narrow down to a preventive healthcare market, right? So you can safely say they are in a preventive healthcare market. And target market is people who want prevention from cough and cold. Predominantly, it is not that only people who want prevention from cough and cold takes Chavan Prash. There are others also. But consciously they target towards that market. Uh, research was done and they know that this product will help we are designing the product for cough and cold, hence the product was designed, if it is a reverse approach, where the need was identified, and then the product was designed, identifying the target segment, target market and further target segment is easier. Now, if we design a product, uh, how would we come to that point? Is it like not trial and error method, we'll reach that? Is there any other method to actually identify that target segment? Because I'll only try and, you know, try and learn. See, you never design a product for nothing. You always design a product with some need of customer in mind. With some customer in mind, you always design a product. Yeah, it has never that. happened in the history of our, our lives, human lives, that some product has been designed without any thought of need actually. That never happens. So you might have thought some need of some person. So you might have, when I say some need of some person, I mean to say you might have thought of some market. I am just defining that here, yeah. in Dabur Chavan Prash, right. let us say we will move from Dabur Chavan Prash towards the actual target segment. Uh, my first identification of need is preventive health care. Sure. There, is, there is a need for this product, uh, I am designing this product, I developed the product. Now after the product is developed, I go to the target market. Right. Now when I am trying to identify the target market, there are 8-9 things that come on my table. Now I have to figure out from 8 of them. Which is the most likely one? Yeah. The only method I know right now, I'm saying is trial and error method. Abs no, just hold on. Yeah. This is first three steps. Okay. I have not gone to segments and target segment. I I'll go for double channel price to the act individual consumer. Okay. Yeah. Just just hold on for a minute. Jet Airways. What is the market? How do you define the market? People who want to fly. The target market is people who want to fly on business. Need is saving time, that is understandable. They also carry couriers, uh, jet airways, so that can also be market similar to DHL. Yeah, but that is a slightly different segment. When I say jet airways, I am basically referring to the flyer segment actually. You can, that is different business actually altogether. So called Deccan airways, now it is Kingfisher Red. What is the market? Is it same as jet? So people who want to travel, 
slight difference travel and fly you know so they are targeting at travel segment travel market wherein you rightly said so target market is people who want to travel cheap again this is just target market we have to see what are the segments within this target market are it's very broad definition of a market and a target market now dhl the target market is uh, people who want to send express packages around the world this is what uh, they identified what are can we further slice down this market if yes how how they have done they have done like this immediate there are people who want to send any package immediate of course see i am not talking of affordability here a regular ad hoc the people who or businesses who regularly send and some send on ad hoc basis there b2b means industrial customers who send on regular basis and ad hoc basis this is b2c segment business to consumer like lic sends uh, packages to their customers the c2c also a normal consumer sent to relative to in other city there is c2b also a customer sending packages to an industry or some institution these are all possible segments which are available in this target market you agree yes. but do you think dhl is targeting everybody they are not whom they are targeting we'll see dabar chavan prash what are the segments so market target market is people who want preventive health care from cough and cold what can be the segments in this market anybody Anyone? so if you are a marketer of a dabar chavan prash what comes to your mind age wise yeah old people and children specifically old people and children Climate. prevention for young couples prevention for small children teenagers adults old people so when you say age it's from child to adult na so these are all possible segments so this is see i just want to demonstrate how step by step you can move on to your focused segment jk tires people who own cars trucks tractors farm equipments not two wheelers not cycles not mopeds not motorcycles right so target market to segments so this is now jet is targeting at which segment jet people who want to fly same day people who want to go on long business trips and people who want looking for service and on time flights these are segments in jet category any other segment you think of uh there are many there are ch child children age, age is also one male female but which is the relevant segment relevant criteria of segmentation that you have to see there are so many ways of segmenting a market but you have to see it should be need based here i am talking of need based people who want to fly same day so need is what go in the morning come back in the evening why i stay in hotel people who on long business trips that is a different need altogether segmentation criteria can be numerous but what is the relevant and need based criteria people looking for service on on time on uh, and on time flights do you think these are same segments for a decken no <coughs> they are not targeting business it is not that some business people will not travel by a decken they may travel but they consciously don't look for don't target those segments first class air travelers non flyer students possible segments now having said these segments normally a good business man should try to target one single segment or two single segments which drives maximum of its revenue that he is he has in mind suppose he wants 1 lakh of rupees of business so which segment can give me 1 lakh of rupees of business approachable that you can think of some gut feeling some factual data collection so having said this what do you think dhl actively targets b2b they don't target c2c they don't target c2b they don't target b2c 
Now you might be sending packages to your son, your brothers. You say, is there a contradiction? No, there is no contradiction. The pricing to B2B will be entirely different from C2C. They will honor every package, but there is marketing strategy, pricing strategy is entirely different. So if you want to send a package from Bombay to Delhi, they might charge some 300 rupees, 250, 200. But for the same package to an industry, B2B industry, they, the rates will be entirely different. Maybe 60, 70 rupees. Dabur consciously targets small children and old elderly people. It is not that others don't. Now compare with Sona Chandi Chavan Prash, you know. Their target segment is different. If you have seen their advertisement or something, they are targeting different segments. And they are not, they don't define their market as cuff and coal market. Jet Airways, they started with only one segment. They went to industrial houses and focused on the people who want to come back same day. Why? They said you will save on your hotel cost, we will uh, we'll, uh, time our flights as per your needs, go in the morning, come back in the evening. So they build their operations on this platform, Air Deccan, first class rail travelers, non-flyers, they did not target students which was which is one of the very important segment, primarily that still it is very costlier thing to attract students. JK tires, car, trucks and tractors, not other vehicles, they do not target. These companies also focus their effort on just few segments and once see, once you acquire that segment, acquire means when you are confident in that segment, it is not you, you will not have competition in that segment, but still you are good in that segment, then you can move on to other segments. But building your capability to serve one segment is also a hurricane task. Now, a small business has to again think, again go uh, filter down from one to one segment, from one segment to another. So, it is an iterative process actually, you know, from big market to a small segment. See the full example from packages, express packages, all possible segments and target segment. So, you have to know in and out of your target segment. Now challenge comes, forget market, just know in and out of your target setting. Size, contribution, customer profile, user behavior, purchase behavior, brand awareness, perception, everything. Then focus on that customer. Ideally, you should define that customer. How my customer looks like, what he eats. See this, now I give you an extreme example. For example, Sandra. They conducted research and they did it. I am not asking you to go to that level. I am just saying to what level a good organized industry can go. S defining single customer, how it might look like. But with your experience, with you getting in touch with customers and doing this process, you can also do that to some extent. But think this is important that you should know the in and out of your segment, the size, contribution profile, behavior, awareness, needs, priorities, this is paramount. You do not have to focus on your product only, but how, which customer will use that, how it will use that, needs, purchase behavior, how you will dispose that, you should know. A good segmentation should be measurable, substantial, accessible, differential and actionable. Or everything may not be true for a small business who may not have data to measure each segment. You need data and research to measure each segment, you may not. But some gut feeling that this segment is important and uh, profitable. I am not asking you to measure everything, but still you are in market, you are in touch with customer, you can do some exercise. And actionable, differential. Similarly, you know, for security equipment, your pricing to jewelers pricing of a product to dwellers might differ from pricing of that product to say households or say, security agencies or banks. 
when i say pricing is different mean your marketing strategy will differ to start with you might like to give free to few jewelers just try it i'm just saying you know not everybody maybe one jeweler why not if it generates interest curiosity usability like he says speed i say i can do it now and they accepted and they did it so something like this you know so once you start building your customers you start building references then it's comparatively relatively easier to go ahead way to segment a market consumer industries are segment on different variables geography region city metro demographics behavioral occasion based life cycle race occupation income whatever you think is useful industrial business markets are normally segmented like this few examples which type of industry you want to serve should you serve manufacturing industry mining industry banking industry should you focus your effort only on banking industry to start with company size should you serve small businesses or large businesses or only government or railways or defense location should you serve in a small location or same industry across locations or technology should you serve companies with a given platform java oracle whatever you know which software platform you want to target start with you can start with one and then move on user or non user status you want to target the users existing users or you want to convert non users there are different implications of targeting different segments customer capabilities you want to get in touch with capable customer knowledgeable customer or you want to approach different customers educate them and do how do you want to approach purchase approaches i've seen many businesses who just limit themselves to government tendering they have good relationships and many business who don't want to work with government for the uh, problem of money and they want to uh, deal with private businesses so power structure some people want to work in the company uh, deal with the companies who are engineering engineering dominated they have capability to serve them and some others so you can segment your market on different variables and then focus on a segment and it make more sense for uh, all the businesses if we have more number of variables will it help or is it like we have to only have a few number of variables when we are trying to segment like can you give uh, me an example geography is one variable <coughs> age is one variable profession is one variable gender is one variable i'm having five variables is it better that way or having a focused one to see any uh, point of time you have to choose number of variables for example if you think of a particular customer or say a particular software company you will have def- you can define that company by size by location and depending upon your capabilities you can then focus on either you should focus in a area or you have to move similar industries in different areas that you have to limit on depending upon your capabilities internal strengths see i'll take his example okay. uh, he was talking about a publishing uh, kind of or like where a forum is there mm-hmm. now he will have a, a certain kinds of users they will be <coughs> medically interested medically let's say let's take a topic like medical techno medical technology and people who are interested are doctors the users are doctors we know now his uh, profile of subscribers will define his target uh, segment also because Absolutely. he cannot go to yeah, yeah, yeah. non pharmaceutical companies and sell it he can only go to pharmaceutical companies because they are defining so the segmenting is already done for him right predefined the segmenting that right. he has to go with right. apart from that uh, he will introduce his own variables to further segment it is that needed or is it like automatic something see if that segment he is able to serve till that variable then why not if still that segment is much bigger then he has to see which further segmentation variable will help in focusing when you say bigger it is always relative what what bigger be? means as per his capabilities of serving as per his capability yes now again this is relative you can increase your capabilities but somewhere you have to focus on 
for example, uh, again you have to, uh, reaching here also is questionable you know, when I say segmentation important is to measure also, I am not saying you go and measure but still you should have some idea, for example you go and sell to some pharmaceutical company, they will not work on subjective idea, they will say how big is, the, they will work on numbers you know, for example, you should have some idea on what will be the numbers. Now, how to generate that number is your skill and your research. You may not need a marketing research agency to do that, that you uh, can do. You said something about capability, okay. Yeah. So, uh, capability means in what aspect? Uh, means uh, your capital uh, or infrastructure Absolute. or… Uh, all, all, all. All, all, all every, all, all. Yeah. considering everything. Yeah. So, you yeah. Okay, you talked about… Uh, making identifying a target segment target market then uh, generating the segment that you want to focus on then narrowing down to a particular segment or a group of segments and then further narrowing down to the kind of customers which you want to reach and identify a typical customer define a typical customer that customer definition means you are defining a segment basically okay that is what my doubt was yeah once you identify a segment no, no. Yeah, you have to define that segment means defining single customer means you are defining that segment. So, there are there can be other variables for business marketers. These are just representative of that. You can be demographic, operating, purchase. There can be more variables. You have to see which variable is more relevant in a given situation. For example, I can give you example of a consumer market. Lacoste. How many of you wear Lacoste? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many of you has capability to buy Lacoste? I think everybody. Capability to purchase Lacoste. What is the price of a Lacoste shirt? T-shirt? Why, why everybody does not buy Lacoste? Original Lacoste shirt is I think more than 1000 rupees. More than 3000 rupees. But all of you can spare 3000 rupees and buy a shirt, I am sure, but not everybody buys, right? Why? Ever thought of? Culture issue. No, availability is not an issue. If you I want something, you can have it. I think it is a cultural thing. The br 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 brand, brand value is not as good, as much in the mouth of the consumer as you know, if you look at Nike or… find it as much valuable. People do not find it valuable. No, People uh, do not find it valuable. I, I find uh, it's very strange. In, in India, it's a cultural issue, I feel, because none of us want to spend 5,000 rupees on a shirt. Very few, very few segment is there for that. I mean, it's a cultural issue. Even though we can afford, I can buy 10,000 rupees glasses, at, but I can't spend the 5,000 rupees on a shirt. It's a culture issue, I feel. Even uh, I have seen people who has capability to buy, buy they will buy, say, a, a brand like uh, Alan Soli and not buy Lacoste, right? There are people who will buy a similar brand but not Lacoste. If we talk to Lacoste people, you know, they segment how, and ask them how do you segment the market? They say, who is your customer? Is your customer everybody who can afford a 3000 rupee shirt? He says no. Our customer is very focused. We define our customers by lifestyle variable. He is adventure seeking. He is sporty. We do not define our, he is young at heart. We are not defining by age. So, we segment our market by psychographics, the state of mind. So, their segmentation is different. Not age, not geography, nothing but state of mind. Of course, purchasing, but purchasing power is an issue, but people will buy a different brand, not Lacoste. And there are people who only will buy Lacoste. And there is a history of the brand, they will go to the history of the brand and understand that. People may not play tennis and golf, still buy Lacoste. It is associated with these games, na? historically. It is a psychographics, SUVs. Now, how many of you have SUVs and will prefer to buy SUVs if money have, if you have money? 
versus if you have same money, some people will like to buy a long sedan, some people will like to buy any other car, some people will save money, some people will buy SUV only. Again, SUV car is targeted at people who seek adventure, who are young at heart. A typically lifestyle and adventure seeking behavior cut across age, cut across gender even. In India, it is typically male. Cut across your uh, profession. So, some things are psychographic. So, probably in your case, I do not know. It is psychographics, you know, which is important for those women who are very particular about these things. Now, how to find those women? is the next thing. Should you go to that doctor only who treats such women? Should you go to that cosmetic shop who treats such women? That is the issue. Besides legal and medical issues, I am not talking. I am just talking of market. I have given everything is there. So, it is a psychographics which is more important. Ujala White, Whitener, who uses those products, such products? Women who are manic about white clothes, you know. It is not Every person who uses white, uh, who wears white shirts uses the robin blue or ujala white. It is the women who are very particular about the whiteness. It is something psychographics, mental mind. So, this is also a segment, way of segmenting the market. For certain cosmetics, certain products, have you heard of Botox? Who uses? Pe many people, many women can afford that, not everybody uses. Now, how to some pe women who have something in their mind about looking good, upliftment of skin or whatever you know, but how to find those women, where to find those women, that is a task of a marketer, maybe to some skin consultants or I do not know. So, segment, so, you have to see need based segmentation, psychography based segmentation is again a very important powerful tool to identify customers. I, I have a question here, yeah. sorry. Uh, we are talking marketing and uh, we are talking about the buying point. At buying point, it is usually sales, you know. The, uh, these things I feel are under more of psychoanalysis and all that. Why is he buying? Is more to do with the sales uh, point of view rather than the marketing point of view. It is like, uh, for me, I, when I am buying, uh, I can segment the market. I can say people who are earning so much are my market. After that, why did he each person bought is always a psychological thing because uh, he bought it for hmm. different reasons. I cannot obviously predict why did he buy at any point of time. That is into sales rather than into marketing, is not it like? No, no. See, that is why I say segments. Some segments will buy because of particular reason only. See, that is the task of a marketer. See, sales is what? Sales is a part of marketing and sales facilitates the transaction. What is sales? The sales facilitation, na? marketing is just a sitting and just thinking how do I sell, whom do I sell. I plan out something, then I finally tell my salesman, you go there, he, there is a 90 percent probability he will buy. Selling is facilitation of transaction. Now, this is the task of a marketer to identify the purchase process of each segment. Now, this is the skill. See, if you are not able to do that, then you are not doing good marketing actually. You must know, see when I say defining target consumer, it means I should know in and out of the consumer. How much time it takes to understand this? It does not see it is a mindset, you know, get out of operational issue, just spend a day with the consumer and then see how it does. A day means you can, you can understand that. For example, you, you, are, you want to market some uh, electrical product, just go and spend couple of days in an electrical shop, just see how people come, what behavior, how they display behavior, what purpose they go in and you can summarize to some segment, it is not difficult actually and it does not take much time actually. It might take but it is more of a mindset than of a actual. Okay, you do not have time, hire an MBA students from a local in med MBA college, pay him 5000 rupees per month, he will happily work for that. You have to find ways and means you know. A summer internship and there are so many med MBA colleges, you know. 5000 rupees is something great for a local college and he will do everything for you. 8 hours a day, 25 days a month, he will do it for you. 
what else you want and you give him a certificate that his character is very good, he worked very hard, he will be happy with that. You have to find ways, it is not difficult, people are doing this. See, again see I have seen people who go to these colleges, sell themselves, try to pick up the best student of those colleges. See, these things will happen, but within these constraints how you find a better person and make him work. Do you expect a person 25 day to work 25 days a uh, month and 8 day hours? You first discount, you say he will work 20 days for 4 hours, even 80 hours for 5000 rupees. Even if, if he gives one quality input, then you are done. And this is happening across 5000 for MBA engineering. If you go search for engineering graduate, he will charge, you can uh, uh, get him for lesser amount and make him do all these works. Not to speak of uh, this organized sector, big companies, they even pay 50,000 rupees per month to get these things done from IM graduates. That is a different issue, not, let us not argue. But even you can do at your level, at a different platform with a different money, but you can do some strategic thinking, some research uh, with your resources.